Hi there, I'm Nirmala Trisna and you are watching MC Bali channel. Multiple incoming request is about script, how to write a script. Some ask me to help them write a script. Some ask for a full script that I have made. Well now, what about giving you a video how to develop an MC script? Let's go. First of all, know the event owner. Who is this company or the person? Who is this host? Understand their background, their vision, their mission. Know everything about this event owner. Why they are creating this event. Why they are inviting these people to come to this special event that we are going to be the MC. Second, know the audience, who they are, who are these people, understand their social demographic. In that way, we can set our tone of language when we develop the script. Third, know the objective, why this event is held, why this event is being created and inviting this audience to come, understand the event objective. Know the event message. So we can highlight that message within our script. Either it is explicitly mentioned or we can put it here and there in our script. Fourth, know the rundown. Understand the schedule. When the event start, when the event finish, how long each segment is, when does MC need to be on stage? When the MC need to do voiceover or voice of God? And why does the MC need to be off stage or on stage? So understand the whole event rundown. Fifth, understand again why that specific segment or program is put within the event. So we can create the story of each segment we understand how to present a speaker or an entertainment or a song probably. So try to create a story that can connect one segment with another. And then sixth, send our script to the event owner or the event organizer and get their feedback. Finally, the seventh step, revise it based on their feedback. Fine tune it make it our own script. I know not all MCs write their own script. If you are a professional MC watching this video, tell me, do you write your own script or do you have someone else write it for you based on your guideline? Please tell me in the comment section. For me, I prefer to write my own script because it can suit me, it can suit my style. I can develop the script based on how I am familiar with the language. English is not my first language, so I have to make sure I can convey the message as fluent as I can, as comfortable or as convenient I can be on the stage. In some cases where the client prepares a script for me, I will fix it. I will try to fine tune it based on my preference. It is important because that can ensure me being comfortable on the stage. Also important to schedule a rehearsal or a script reading. Usually it is before the event, on the stage or off the stage with the event team and with the client of course. Doing that script reading we can understand and also fix how the script flow word by word. Sometimes in writing, it's good, but when we say it out loud, it needs to be fixed. Sometimes words can be replaced by expression, by gesture, by some body language, or any other non-vocal way to express something. So now I'm going to share 
a script sample where the client send this timetable containing things that MC need to say and where the MC should ad lib on the stage. A corporate gathering event that happened in the past, attended by customers as an appreciation gala dinner. I was informed that the attendees are from Southeast Asian countries. They are business owners, the partners, or the representatives. They are mature business persons. I also understood that this was a gala dinner to appreciate their business relationship. So I received the rundown and also uh, held an online meeting with the client so I can understand exactly their expectation. It is important to ask the client what they expect from the MC. Full formal, some interaction, or okay with some jokes, with some ice breaking stuff. So in the rundown, the client already mentioned that MC should be ready to ad lib. It means the MC must be ready to do impromptu on the stage. Play by ear. See the interaction with the audience in that event or during that event. So again, I would like to highlight it is very important to meet either in person or online with the client or the event owner. Especially a day before or two days before the event, meeting in person can connect us as an MC with the event. It can create the chemistry. We can understand their character and the spirit. So we can reflect that as an MC, we represent the event host. We present ourselves as the host of the event. So next time, I will prepare a video where we will do a script reading using or implementing different vocal expression because written script can sound different when we use the right vocal expression. I hope this simple guidance to develop MC script can be useful for you. If you like this, don't forget to click that thumbs up down below. You can also share this video to someone who you think will need this content. Don't forget to explore my other videos on my channel where I share tips on doing public speaking and also sharing my action on stage as MC. Always, I thank you all for your support. I'm Nirvala Trisna. Stay safe, happy, and healthy.